Hi, in this project what I'm going to do is take a Minn Kota Endura C2 30 pound trolling motor that has a 30 inch shaft as shown on the box on the right and shorten the shaft to 24 inches and modify the head to accept a DIY speed control box which I have made in another tutorial and the finished product of that is on the left. So let's get started and I'll show you how I got to this. This is the trolling motor after it's been removed from the box and the shift lever has been added. And what I'm going to do here first is go down here to the head unit. And right in here is a set bolt which I'm going to remove which will allow you to pull the head right off. And then also on the bottom end here are six screws that need to be removed so you can take this top off. So I'll show you what it looks like after I've done both those things. This is a view of the top part of the head that's been removed from the trolling motor. And once you do that, you can see you have your four exposed wires and there's a little bracket in there that holds those wires in place and once you pull those loose from that bracket it allows you to remove the head from the trolling motor shaft like that and the next step will be to disconnect each one of those wire connectors from the switch and pull the whole head unit off and you don't have to worry about if you don't remember which order the wires are connected to that switch because they're color coded with each color written on the switch just below each terminal. This is a view of the head removed from the unit along with the handle and switch and you can see the four control wires sticking out of the end of the shaft along with the battery power cord that is separated from that. You'll be able to use that later in your installation, so hang on to that. And what I've also done, since this is a 30 inch shaft, I decided that I wanted to shorten it to 24 inches, so I measured it off and used this painter's tape to make my mark. That's six inches from the top, and then I put a little arrow on it so I remember which side I want to cut because when I do cut this I'm going to turn it upside down and I'll explain why in a bit. I have the trolling motor mounted upside down now when I'm going to make my cut and the reason for that is when I get down to here and you can see my mark again so I know which edge to cut it's going to allow all the little filings and cuttings to drop down to the ground instead of back down the shaft and possibly fouling up the trolling motor. And what I'm also going to do is wear these blue nitrate gloves because it is a composite shaft which contains a little bit of fiberglass which can be a really big irritant if the pieces get into your skin. So I'll make the cut and show you how I'm going to do that. Now what I've also done is taken a 12 inch piece of 1 half inch diameter EMT tube and slid it up into the trolling motor shaft after threading the four wires through there. And the reason I'm doing that is to make sure when I make my cut using a hacksaw that I don't damage the wires that are inside. And just bending the wires at the tip will make it fit in there right. So obviously you have to make sure that that piece of tubing is long enough for your cut. Here's the completed cut. You can see the hacksaw I used. And again, here is the section that's been cut off from the shaft. And you can see the EMT tube in there that I used to protect those wires. It's an exploded view of the end of the shaft with my 90 degree turn that's been heat formed along with the little chair stop there and the wires threaded through. What I'm going to do is put a thin coat of Marine Group 
around the edge of here and around the edge here just to hold this piece in place. And when you do that, you want to make sure that it's aligned straight with the shaft and the nose of the trolling motor. This is a mock-up of the 90 degree turn at the top of the modified trolling motor shaft. What I have here is an actual piece of the shaft that I'm going to use for this mock-up. And this is a 90 degree PVC fitting, which is three-quarter female slip-in on this side. And on this side, it's a three-quarter male slip fit. And as you can see right here, it's not going to fit on there just yet. So you're going to need to take a heat gun or whatever heat source you're going to use and heat up the base here of the fitting, which is going to go over the top of the shaft. And once you do that, this piece here is just a rubber chair tip and it's got a closed end here and it's going to fit over the edge here in order for you to run your wires out and you're going to drill a hole through here to do that. So here's a piece that's already done. This one's already been heated so it'll accept the shaft so it slides on there nice and tight and then here's that rubber chair tip and you can see I've already drilled a hole in it there for all the wiring to get out. And when you're satisfied with how everything's mounted, I used a little bit of marine goop in here to, as a sealant and to keep it tight. Um, once it dries, it's not going to move. But if for some reason you ever have to remove this 90, then all you have to do is take a heat gun to it and it'll loosen up the marine goop and you can just twist it right off. So that's how I made that 90 degree turn in the top of the shaft. This is the completed project. The trolling motor shaft has been shortened from 30 inches to 24 inches. The elbow cap has been gooped onto the top of the shaft and you can see that the control wires are coming out from the trolling motor shaft and I've hooked them up to a speed control box which I made in another tutorial if you want to look it up. So I'm going to go ahead and power it up just to show it works. Forward. Reverse. And that's it. So if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thanks for watching.